All right, day two, coming right up. What do we got? Uh, game would have been possible. Okay. Information. How many? Seriously? Sums of the IDs. Jesus. Just one through N, right? Uh, One fine. Okay. The two, the fewest. Or red, green, and blue. Multiply. Okay. What is this error? Thirteen. Okay, could have been better. Um, cool. So what was going on here? So we have uh, these records, which are like game number. Some number of blue, red, or green balls. Uh, I was sort of assuming that there could be other colors, but I guess that's not actually true. Um, so, right, so the point is, like, you have at least that many balls of that color in this game. Um, and in part one, the question is, how many games uh, do you not exceed, like, this, these numbers, right? Do you never see more than 12 red balls, never see more than 13 green cubes, 
and never see more than 14 blue cubes. Uh, so, you know, go through all the games. Each game has a number and some stuff that happened for every stuff that happened uh, for each, like, set of balls that came out during that event. Uh, you had n balls of some color. So for part one, uh, if you know we had more than the like specified number of balls, the game is invalid. For part two, we just want to get the max for each color that we saw. Um, right, that's in part two. Use the power is just the max of R, G, and B. Uh, I guess starting at zero. Uh, right. Actually, it's not. It's somewhat ambiguous what to do if you never see that color, but I guess maybe we just always see all colors and it's not really specified. Um, so anyway, for part two, we multiply together those values. For part one, you just check uh, if the thing was valid and you add together the you know answers for each line. So let's modify this to do part one and part two. So part one was adding together the IDs. Uh, part two was multiplying together the uh, values, and we'll get rid of some trailing print statements. And that is completely wrong. Well, 2149 and 71274. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm mostly string parsing, I guess, and just, you know, checking the. I'm checking the condition, multiplying them together. I do think the problem statement is a little bit ambiguous about whether what to do if there's no balls of that color. Uh, I mean, I guess it would be zero when it multiplies, but I didn't do that, so I guess that never happens. Uh, okay, anyway, that was day two. See you tomorrow.